2020 virtual graduation ceremony with the Anchorage School District and West High School. Hello, I'm Sven Gustafsson, the principal here at West Anchorage High School, and I would like to welcome you all to the first ever videoed online graduation of West High School. Since its inception in 1953, West High School has had a live, vibrant, exciting graduation, be it from the West High Gym, the auditorium, or the Sullivan Arena. 2020 graduates, I want to first say I'm truly sorry that you're not getting to experience what all other graduates have been able to experience up until this year. You've missed your prom, senior fun day, locker cleanup, final sports seasons, and so much more social time that up until now we probably have all taken for granted. With that said, I would like to tell you it's been an honor to get to know and experience these last few years of your high school career as your principal. Although I've known most of you since middle school, or even some of you before that, getting to know you as young adults has been so much fun. You're a charismatic, athletic, creative, funny, caring, thoughtful group of graduates. I've appreciated your leadership and engagement at West High School. You as a class are amazing. You're all going to be sorely missed. As you graduate and move to the next steps in your lives, I remind you of what I've been telling you since middle school. You get to decide who you are going to be. You do this through what you say, what you do, how you treat people, and how you react to what life throws at you. Look, we all know life has thrown a pretty big wrench right now into your lives. But going out of this, you're all going to be better. You're all going to be okay. Now that you're graduating and considered adults, please carry yourselves with pride, honor yourself with positivity, and design yourselves to move our city, state, country, and the world forward. Some of you will be moving on to college, trade schools, taking a gap year, or joining the workforce. No matter what, remember, whatever you decide to do, do it with pride, with class, and with respect. There's so much more out there for you to experience. Keep your eyes wide open for exciting opportunities. I wish you all success. Thank you. When I was in middle school, I was really, really nervous about making friends. So I had this plan. I would bake a pan of brownies, go up to a lunch table that I thought was cool, and offer the brownies to them, sit down, and just kind of sneak my way in. It wasn't just lunch. I had a crush on this boy in my language arts class, and so I would bake chocolate chip cookies, pass them out to the entire class, just so he would say thank you to me. I did this once a month for four months. Even after I had friends, I kept baking as a very inconsistent tradition. When someone had a birthday, they would get a baked good of their choice. All of this to say that in recent weeks, I found myself baking a lot. And I've also been thinking about all the people I've met, cookie-based or otherwise, over the past four years. Today, I'd like to reflect on how grateful I am for this community and especially this graduating class. Like the mitochondria, this speech comes to you in three parts, the inside, the outside, and the space in between. Part one, the only way out is through. I've always liked speeches that acknowledge that high school may not have been the best four years of your life. We celebrate graduation as a triumph. It's the result of years of hard work and time and soul. And sometimes that is so hard to give. I know I have been sad and stressed and covered in acne for a good portion of high school. Let's face it, waking up at 6.30 is not always pleasant, and each of us, when we walk into school, bring with us the weight of everything else going on in our lives. Family, mental health, whatever global crisis is happening at the moment. Being a teenager is hard, and being a teenager right now is especially hard. So. When I say congratulations, what I mean is whatever it took to get here, I am glad you are here. The accomplishments of the past two years cannot be degraded or diminished because we are not celebrating in person. The accomplishment of the past few years is the person you are right here, right now. We are here, we are through, and as a result of everything we've been through, we are more educated, more informed, and more compassionate citizens of the world. Congratulations. 
Part two, the only way through is together. So when I first started at West, my counselor told me, you will struggle, but you will struggle together. I don't find that advice terribly comforting, but it was true. As lonely as high school can be, we are not alone. I have so much respect and appreciation and genuine admiration for every single person I've been in classes with. You inspire me with your ideas about the world. You make me laugh. You fill me with the joy of knowing other people. I have so many individual thank yous to give, but in this moment, I'm going to take a page from Mr. Rogers. We're going to have a moment of silence, and I'd like everyone to think of the people who loved them up to this moment. Friends, parents, teachers, classmates, kind strangers. I'll keep the time. In their best form, these people remind us that there is a place we belong and a place we are loved. When I say West, I think of a building, but I also think of the people I met here. I think about dripping ceiling water and the smell of Taco King. I think about hours spent in DDF, the weirdest library study room conversations and existential crises in six period history. I think about what choir concerts feel like, 80 people singing the same note, the way the auditorium rang. I think about every teacher who gave me energy and advice and perspective. I think of my parents who to this day are still doing a great job. I think of the characters in my life since this year, since freshman year, since middle school, since elementary school. These people are not only the reason I am here today, they are the reason I am who I am today. You have your own things and your own people. And whoever they are, they are so, so proud of you right now. We made it through together. Part three, let's create spaces where we are together. I didn't know what I was doing with my life when I started high school, and I still have no idea what I'm doing with my life. The past few months have taught us that life is uncertain, and we are entering into a world that likely holds even more change. So I'd like to share the words of Kurt Vonnegut. What should young people do with their lives? Many things, obviously. But the most daring thing is to create stable communities in which the terrible disease of loneliness can be cured. Of all the things I'm proudest of, of all the things I'm proudest of us for, I'm proud of the families, friendships, and communities we've built. Stable communities start with a pan of brownies, or a chocolate chip cookie, or a surprise birthday cake. When this is over, they will look like long, deep hugs. Right now, they might be a congratulations text, a shared happy memory, or reaching out to the people who made your high school experience survivable, informative, and joyful. Class of 2020, as we go out into the world, let's be kind. Let's be daring. But most importantly, let's be together even when we are apart. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. G. Mr. Gunner, haha, <laughs> it's an inside joke. You'd have to know me to understand. Oh crap, I forgot my gown. Tight. Um, well, class of 2020, we made it? Um, it's no secret that this has been a tumultuous spring. When, when I said I wanted an extra long break, this is definitely not what I meant, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, I'm sure we all heard the 2020 vision jokes leading up to this year, but let me just say if this is 2020 vision, I wouldn't mind glasses right now. I'm sure many of you are looking towards the future in your first days of college, uh, trade school, or employment when you can sweep this all under the rug and uh, go on to the next chapter of your life titled Chapter 2, Scheduling My Own Doctor's Appointments. But I'd encourage you to slow down, take a breath, and be here in the moment. Go ahead. Perfect. It's not all that bad if you really look at it. The sunsets keep getting prettier every night. Your friends are all a phone call away. The memes are... They're pretty good. Most importantly, though, we all have so much time. Time to figure out who you are, who you want to be, and where you want to take the world. Now, I'm not telling you to go out and solve the universe's ever-increasing entropy or write a revolutionary manifesto of sorts. It would be pretty tight if you did. What I am saying, though, is that you can still profoundly impact the world through what you do on an individual scale and the approach you take to life. You don't have to devote your life to the service of others, either. It's the littlest things that can shift the tides. Telling your buddies you appreciate them from time to time. Calling your grandma and asking her how her day went. Or just being extra kind to strangers. 
Now, you may be listening to me thinking I'm some big old optimistic fool who thinks a world filled with injustices and inequalities can be fixed with a couple of kind gestures. I will admit, I might be naive, but I don't trust every five-star Amazon review I see, okay? Don't put that on me. I don't think there's anything wrong with a little optimism and gratitude in your worldview. Quite the opposite, actually. Seeing the world not for its blemishes and darknesses, but for the good that prevails, can lead you to what I believe is a much more positive outlook on life. Of course, one person alone cannot move mountains. However, what is the collective but the sum of the individuals? For example, one emu might not be too powerful, but a mob, gaggle, murder, mob. A mob of emus could defeat an entire Australian army. As the great Caesar once said, apes alone weak, but apes together strong. I'm fairly certain that the writers of Rise of the Planet of the Apes intended uh, their movie to be a metaphor for the great emu war of 1932 anyway, so they happen. Look it up. I'd really like to emphasize the latter half of that quote, though. Um, apes together strong. To elaborate, I'm going to break the yearly tradition of quoting Karl Marx at graduation and instead quote the man who practically caused the fall of the Soviet Union, Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Uh, in his novel, The Gulag Archipelago, he wrote, The line separating good and evil passes not between states, nor between classes, nor between political parties, but right through every human heart. It is incumbent upon each of us to courageously take responsibility on a daily basis for the disorder in our own lives and using our unique strengths and skill sets, work together towards the good. The kind of good that benefits us, our families, and community simultaneously. This is a time for uniting around our commonalities and working to understand and cooperate with our peers in order to best harness the good we can each provide. And remember, no matter what path you follow in life, you can always make a difference for the better. You are more than merely the sum of your parts. So it's okay if those parts are waking up at noon and wearing sweatpants every day. You'll get through it. To cap this off, um, I'd like to quote a meme that I saw the other day that really struck a chord with me. Things will work out for you. It might work out a little different than you expected, but that's okay. So tell your homies you love them. And in closing, let me just ask. Connor, I've told you a hundred times. You can't be in my office. Get out of here. Have a good day. Happy graduation, West High Seniors. My name is Miss Artie, and I have way more in common with you than you might think. I too went to West High, and I walked these very same halls. And just like you guys, this is my last year at West. I've been teaching here for 25 years, and I'm retiring next week. So I completely understand how you guys feel. We're all excited, super proud, maybe a little bit anxious about what's coming next, and we're scared as we move away from our comfort zone. People mistakenly think that students only love my class because I hand out treats and bake sweets for them. Yes, I do spoil my kiddos with cupcakes and brownies and cookies, but at the end of each year, I ask students what their favorite part of my class really was, and they almost all say they love hearing my stories. I'm a storyteller. I tell them about my wild days here as a West High student. I go into detail with pictures about my tapeworm, Hector. I tell them about the crazy criminals that my policeman husband has to deal with every day. I'm honest about the time that I went to McLaughlin for being naughty. And I even share the heart-wrenching stories about my baby brother who is in prison. Like I said, I'm a storyteller. I relate to my students by sharing the truth about my life and the lessons that I've learned along the way. So here's my story for you seniors. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Kay. Kay was born in another country and her parents moved her to the United States, hoping to give her a better life. But it was hard. Kids picked on Kay because she had an accent. Her baby sister died. Kay's mom was an alcoholic and her dad never even finished high school. But Kay was smart and she saw the opportunities that this country had to offer. So Kay graduated from high school and she put herself through college by working three jobs. Two pregnancies derailed her college dreams, but she got back on track and she graduated as a single mom. 
Kay worked long hours by day, and then she attended law school at night. She earned her Juris Doctorate and made a fantastic life as a lawyer for herself and her children. Kay worked hard, and she leveled up in a world that tried to keep her down. And now, Kay drives a Mercedes, she has a huge house on the hillside, and she owns a beach home in Hawaii. Kay has succeeded on so many levels, even though she had little support and she made some poor decisions along the way. Kay is the American dream. Kay is goals. Kay is the goat. And Kay is my mother. And I am so proud of her example and the path that she paved for me. So, West Anchorage High School Class of 2020 graduates, I send you with the same lessons that my mom Kay taught me. Set goals. Pursue them with passion and celebrate your achievements starting now. Peace! Hello, West High family and friends. My name is Tajay White, your senior class president of 2020. I know this is not how we thought our senior year would end. We thought we'd all get a chance to say goodbye, post prom pictures, senior fun day, swoop because we were going to win, of course. But most importantly, we thought we'd all get a chance to walk the stage earning our diploma. You can only imagine how excited we were to start our senior year and end the same way every other class has ended. Even though we didn't get to experience all of our senior activities, we have many memories to look back on. Our drama debate and forensic team won the state debate, our boys hockey team were state champions, and our girls basketball were region champs. At the start of our four years, we made new friends, joined clubs and teams, which made us one eagle. It is very obvious that we are living in a global pandemic, which has required us to be quarantined at home, finishing our school year online. We've been limited to seeing friends and family, which is kind of disappointing. I can't be the only one who's kind of overwhelmed from being in the house with my siblings 24-7. I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff that have helped us through our journey these past four years. All of you have been a great support and provided us with encouraging words as we finish this school year online. I'd like to thank some teachers personally. To Ms. Artie for always baking for us. To Mr. Hodge for always making sure I was focused in school and for giving me many tips on the track. To Tinker for always being so cheerful and making everyone smile and laugh, and to Berglund for being the best sports announcer and the best person to have your name announced as you make a touchdown. I've had the best times of my life being an Eagle. Many of us have made many connections throughout high school. I played flag football and ran track, the two seasons I always looked forward to. All the laughter, tears, diving for flags, and getting out of practice early because our coach hates the rain our moments I'll always remember. And to running until I can no longer feel my legs, bugs flying in my mouth, and being a region and state champion are also moments I'll cherish forever. It's been real, and I wish you all the best as we start this next chapter of our lives. We may have been robbed for many things our senior year, but we'll always be the class that everyone remembers. Come fall, we can all look forward to the 2020 first class reunion. Stay safe, stay inside, and remember to wash your hands. Hi seniors. When times get tough, remember, you matter, you are loved, and you have a gift to give to this world. So no matter what, keep moving forward, be brave, and most of all, keep dancing. You've been educated and oh, the places you'll go. Never linger in one space for too long and make your personal odyssey the greatest. Class of 2020, this is Ms. Tinker Case here to tell you my advice and that is to let no one and no thing clip your wings. Be kind, be curious, be fierce. Be kind to yourself and others. Be curious about the world around you and be fierce in your pursuit of your dreams. Hey seniors, Esri here. Um, you might not even know me, but I have two little pieces of advice for you. 
Um, you can do anything for a year, so don't be afraid to take chances and always live with intention. Congratulations to the seniors of West Side High. Herr Kimball here. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. You may need to review Tolkien's Fellowship of the Ring to realize what I mean is, I'm sorry that our time together got cut short this semester, but uh, this will make us stronger, so go out there and have a great life. Auf Wiedersehen. Class of 2020, all you need to know is to connect, compete, respond, repeat, and watch Rocky every day. Hey, class of 2020, Mr. Miller here. I just wanted to say congratulations on your big day. And uh, best advice I can give you, surround yourself with brilliant people and then pay attention. Have fun, live life, take risks, but have integrity. Love everything you do and share that love with everyone around you. Don't be afraid to fight for what you believe in. In my class, we always say, if music isn't fun, then something's wrong. And it's kind of the same thing with life. If life isn't fun, then do something to change your life. And just know that things get way better after high school. There's a really easy way to be happy. Find something useful to do. Do it for other people, do it well, and don't worry about being happy. Happiness will find you. Never, never, ever stop playing. Play all the time. Work really hard. Have a great life. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience that you stop to look fear in the face. You must do the thing that you think you cannot do. Congrats, class 2020. Hey guys, Mrs. Quinn here. I just wanted to say, live in the moment and be true to yourself. Congratulations, guys. Hey, class of 2020. So you're about to step into something really big, bigger than we all expected it to be. But you've got this. You are the universe. You get to make it what it will be. So, we'll see you around. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Camp. Just wanted to say, don't worry about what others think of you. Embrace your uniqueness and truly love yourself. Trust me, in the end, it makes life so much better. So congrats, West High graduates. Hey West High seniors, Ms. McCambly here. Congratulations on all you've accomplished. We are so proud of you. As always, be good humans and do good things. Hey class 2020, Mr. Mackey here. I just want to encourage you all to follow your bliss, face your fears, and live out your heroic, epic lives. Ta-ta for now. General MacArthur once said that there is no security in life, only opportunity. Sometimes opportunity comes disguised as overalls and work boots. So to the class of 2020, go forth and prosper. Enough follow your dreams crap. Here's some valuable advice. Before you get a tattoo, think long and hard because what seems important now may not be so important in the future. Let me show you an example. Recognize the happy moments in life. Stop and think to yourself, man, if this isn't nice, I don't know what is. Remember, our pride in you doesn't end on graduation. It remains through all of your accomplishments throughout life. Once a Westie, always a Westie. Stay proud, go West.
Superintendent Dr. Bishop, the records have been examined and I verify that each of these students that are standing in their homes have met the criteria for graduation from the Anchorage School District. It is a pleasure for me to present to you the West Anchorage High School Class of 2020. As Superintendent of the Anchorage School District, I accept the Class of 2020 from the West High School. I present these students to the school board for graduation. Congratulations, Eagles. On behalf of the Anchorage School District School Board, I'm proud to accept the 2020 graduating class of West High School. Congratulations.
moments in our lives We are alright Class of 2020, please stand up wherever you are and let's remove our tassels from the right to the left on three. One, two, three. Congratulations, we did it! <laughs>